Black Hipsters, as promised, uh, for those who are watching, we're going through the most difficult question by far on the latest unit test. Uh, I'm going to model for you how I would tackle this problem using the strategy we talked about today, which were was uh, bar models. So first thing, as always, read the question and read it carefully. It says, Julian and Stacy need eight liters of water to fill a tank. Stacy filled the tank with three and 11 twelfths liters of water. Julian poured one and two fifths liters less than Stacy into the tank. How much more water is still needed to fill the tank? Okay, so before I reread, there's a lot of information here, but I'm pretty sure that the problem's about filling this tank with eight liters of water. Looks like Stacy put some uh, water in it. Looks like Julian put some water in it. Uh, and we're trying to figure out how much more water is still needed to fill the tank. So let's see. Uh, first thing I know for sure, the total. This tank needs eight liters of water. So that's the first bar I'm drawing. I look through the next sentence. It says, Stacy filled the tank with three and 11 twelfths liters of water. Okay, well, there you go. Part of the tank is filled with what Stacy put in. And it said very clearly, she put in three and 11 twelfths liters. I'm labeling that Stacy. Now, don't rush with reading this next sentence because it does not say that Julian poured two, one and two-fifths liters of water. It says Julian poured one and two-fifths liters less than Stacy. I do know Julian put something into the tank, but I don't know what that is yet. And I know what I'm solving for in the end is how much water is still needed to fill the tank after Julian and Stacy put their water in. But as many of you recognize, the first step is to figure out how much Julian put in, and this is the key sentence that's going to tell us that. Julian poured one and two fifths liters less than Stacy into the tank. And watch how I show this on the bar graph, on the bar model. If you take Stacy and you take away one and two fifths liters, you will be left with Julian. So let's take a look at this bar model again and see if that makes sense. Julian poured one and two-fifths less than Stacy. So another way of saying that is Julian and one and two-fifths liters is going to make Stacy. So first step, as you recognize, let's subtract them. We have three and eleven twelfths minus one and two-fifths. I want you to remember, Kipsters, because a lot of you messed this up. Any subtraction problem you see, the first thing I want you to do is do your baby jumps and your big jumps on the number line. Now, we're going to save some time by not drawing the full number line, but you all know 1 and 2 fifths is to the left, and we're trying to get to 3 and 11 twelfths. First step is start at 1 and 2 fifths and get to the next hole. The next hole is 2. You think to yourself, how do I get from 1 and 2 fifths to 2? That would be 3 fifths away, because 3 fifths and 2 fifths makes 5 fifths. And all together, that makes two. I make a big jump to three. That's worth one. And then I make one baby jump to three and 11 twelfths. Now, how do I get from three to three and 11 twelfths? Simple. You add 11 twelfths. So, to find out how much Julian put in, we need to add these up. All right. Not so difficult, but they don't. these two fractions don't speak the same language. We need to find a common denominator. Okay, so I did that for you below. The common denominator was 60. In this case, 3 fifths is equal to 36 over 60 because I multiplied by one, by one whole. One whole in this case being 12 over 12. And 11 twelfths is equal to 55 over 60 because I multiplied by one whole again. But in this case, one whole was 5 over 5. So now, I added this and this. Now, and now it's going to be 36 sixtieths plus 55 sixtieths. That gives me 91 sixtieths. I haven't even touched this one hole yet. We'll get there. 91 sixtieths is an improper fraction, so we're going to break that up uh, into 60 sixtieths. And then the extra piece is 31 sixtieths. 60 over 60 is one hole. And then you bring down the 31 over 60. So, 3 fifths and 11 twelfths makes 1 and 31 sixtieths. Final, final step for this part, don't forget your one hole up here. You have to add your one hole and your one and 31 sixtieths. And that two and 31 sixtieth liters of water 
is how much Julian put in. So we're one step closer uh, to solving this problem. We can actually put it into our bar model. All right, we got Stacy, we got Julian, uh, and we're almost done. Clear away all those calculations. Next step. In order to find this, when you know the whole, we're going to have to add these two up first. So, adding up 3 and 11 twelfths and 2 and 31 over 60. Uh, taking a look at a common denominator, it's going to be 60 again. Uh, multiplying by 5 over 5, which is the same as one whole. So 11 over 12 equal, equals 55 over 60. Don't even need to touch that because it already speaks 60-ish. Uh, we have our common denominator of 60. We're going to add up 55 over 60, 31 over 60. That makes 86 over 60. I added my holes, and that, as we know, is a mixed improper fraction. I like to call it ugly. We need to make it pretty. Uh, and by pretty, I mean we need to make, make it look like a regular mixed number. How do we do that? Well, we take a look at the 86 over 60 and split that up. 60 over 60 plus 26 over 60, that's 1 and 2 sixtieths. Don't forget to bring back your whole and add it. 5 plus 1 and 2 sixtieths is 6 and 26 sixtieths. So now, we are almost there. Uh, let's get rid of those calculations. Now, we have 6 and 26 sixtieths. Got to get up to 8. How much more do we need? This is a subtraction problem. Take a look. 6 and 26 sixtieths. Go into 8. Baby jump to 7. Might be have to do this math on a piece of paper, but to get from 26 sixtieths to the next hole, that would be 34 sixtieths. 7 to 8. That's a lot easier. That's one hole. Finally, we have our answer of 1 and 34 sixtieths. Again, probably one of the hardest problems with addition and subtraction of fractions that you'll see. But if you go step by step, you use the bar model, you read the question carefully, everyone can do this. As always, call if you need help, and thanks for listening.